It's so quiet. I can hear everything for miles. I hear the water, the shore. I hear geese at the pond. I hear odd noises that I can't identify. <laughs> probably, probably wild turkeys that sounded like a coyote, maybe a dog. A number of different birds. A squirrel in the leaves. Hard to believe, not even eight hours ago, the wind was almost knocking me over, it was so strong. Let's get to it. It's going to be a full day.
The last time we were working on this, it was late fall. I broke my leg. Now it's uh, late winter. It's actually into the spring. It's minus eight, so it's well below freezing outside. The gas guy's just been here. He took three months to actually come out and finish this, which actually makes me feel good that I did the spray foam myself and paid more to do it myself because it's impossible to get trades to do anything these days. They're so busy and they have big jobs. House, everybody's building a house, it seems. So anyway, uh, gas guy was just here a couple of days ago. This is super exciting because it requires no energy whatsoever except the fossil fuel propane. The, actually, I think propane is synthetic, but it was still called a fossil fuel. Um, so we turn this puppy on and we're gonna listen for any leaks and smell for any leaks. I trust the guy. He seems to know what he's doing, but he forgot to put a debris, uh, there's supposed to be a T at the bottom here, that goes down about three inches and it catches any debris that comes in from the tanks. He forgot to do that. So you never know what they might forget. So always watch for that sort of thing. But the fittings are all pipe dope, <coughs> paste. I don't smell anything. I don't hear anything. That's a good sign. I'm supposed to be able to just turn this to pilot, uh, this particular brand, turn it to the left to pilot and push down. And that'll drain the lines. And then I need to hit the ignition switch. I'm just listening still. And then hit the ignition switch when I think propane has gone through. I'm assuming that I wasn't here for the gas guy. I'm assuming he had it running before he left, but who knows? It might be, might be no. Oh, the first one, I think the pilot light is on. I let go. You can hear a little bit of crackling as things get going. I'm going to put it on. So this is low and high. It doesn't have temperature settings. Like it doesn't tell you whatever Fahrenheit or C that you want. It just has low or high that you have to figure out. I'm going to put it on low. So there's some debris I have to clear off on the outside. And it looks like some debris on the inside where the burner is. This is just wood dust. What's wood dust? Man glitter. Sawdust. So those yellow pieces are probably just things that will get burned off. Now I can expect with this particular model, so the, the smallest model you don't really see the blue I'm told. This is the medium sized model. Um, Loving it, heated this place up very quickly. It slows down when it needs to. It seems to maintain, so far after one day, an even temperature, more or less. So there aren't spikes, highs and lows that I can see, but that'll take months to discern. So far, so good. It's still very quiet. A lot of the debris that was initially in that grill, creating a lot of yellow, has disappeared. So now I'd say it's 95% blue with the occasional yellow spike, I don't mind either way, but you want to make sure it's efficient and it's not making excess noise. So it's heating up properly, it's maintaining the temperature, it's still cool. It did smell for about six hours, a chemical that had burnt, but now it's fine. I don't smell a thing, just came in from outside, um, nothing, so it's great. Loving it. Now the question is efficiency. How much propane do I use? Obviously that will be dependent on the weather, uh, but is this a propane guzzler or not? Yeah, so far, not a bad insulation, performing great. A few thumbs up, Martin.